What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install this LCD screen that has a built-in DVD player and video game system. Let's open it up. And here's the video game system disc. Here's the video game controller. It's also the remote. Here is the connections. It's powered on using your um, cigarette lighter. Here's the connection if you wanna hook up a secondary slave monitor. So you can have one on each um, behind each head headrest. Not only that you could connect two headset monitors in the back seat, you can actually transmit FM frequency to one of the stations on your main radio to get surround sound. So I don't have a secondary, I'm just gonna be installing one. And so the secondary monitor would plug into one of these connections, or well, actually all three of these connections. And it's a 10 inch monitor, and it has all the functions on the bezel right here. And it has volume control, so it does have built-in speakers. And back here, you can pull this down like that. That's the mount, and you push it to open the DVD player up. And then you put the DVD in, close it, and play. So it supports HDMI, USB, an SD card. As an AV output, if you want to hook up a secondary monitor. As an AV input, here's a headphone jack if you want to use your personal wired headset. And right here is the power. And it comes with a wireless headset. And it actually works with the DVD player automatically. And you can use two wireless headsets in the car. And you just switch to channel A and channel B. And it has a volume control right here and it takes uh, two AAA batteries, and they're adjustable. And I have leather padding right here. All right, here's the mount, and this goes onto the poles on the headrest. So this is a universal kit. It should fit pretty much any headrest that has the poles. Let's go ahead and lift it up. Yeah. Let's find out which one it goes on. Looks like it goes on these pretty good. Nope, that's too big. That's too small. That one looks like just right. So you want to do is you want to pull this down right here and then this mount slides on see that tiny hole that's just going to face up and that slides in just like this and then this screw right here is the lock screw and that is going to lock in right here just like that all right so i got a different pair Let's see if that's going to fit better so Looks like this one works a little bit better, more snug. And let's go ahead and slide this in. So we're gonna just slide it in like, like that. And then let's go ahead and put the other one in. And you wanna face the headrest in the opposite direction. Now, let's go ahead and put the headrest on. Push this button. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and power it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And for now, I'll just put it in here. And they also have educational games for preschoolers and kindergarten kids. And we add up to 21, and then we're completed. All right, so let's go ahead and try a movie. All right, to connect your wireless headset, you wanna press menu. And then go down to sound and then click over and then down 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 to IR and go to the right and we're going to select IR channel A. It's down, Let's move again.
you know what's cool is if your headset ever dies, you can also plug in a hardwired connection right here, just like that, and then plug it into, there you go. Still works without the batteries. I'd rather save some batteries. I'm gonna have a hardwired, it's pretty good. So if you guys are interested in this system, check out the link in the video description below. And if you found this video in